in the old Goucher neighborhood. Welcome our state attorney, Ivan Bates. Residents addressing their concerns to city state's attorney, Ivan Bates. Someone asked you, can you please be quiet at two o'clock in the morning because your children are trying to sleep. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to attack their property. That is not cool. Everything from vandalism to prostitution, they say, happens right at their doorstep. On this corner is like wild. Primarily with the solicitation uh, and prostitution and basically street walkers and then the Johns coming here for all that. Bates addressing those concerns in his latest crime walk. Holding the Johns responsible and accountable is something we definitely are going to do. But while, but while most were there to hear solutions, not everyone greeted Bates with a round of applause. Because I've been pretty upset with some things that I've been seeing coming from your office around advocating to incarcerate children. This one, in a very heated the The white woman's Blasting the black DA because he's advocating to lock up children. She came, she brought her white ass down there to yell at this man about locking up fucking the people who are doing the most of the crime in the city. Yeah, man. White man, this is a failure. Yeah, I, I blame white men for this. She came all the way down here to tell this black man who who's trying to at least lock up the, the, the people, the, the, the teens who are doing all the fucking crime. God, white women are the worst, man. Hit the like button. Everyone smash that like button, man. Because I've been pretty upset with some things that I've been seeing coming from your office around advocating to incarcerate children. This one in a very heated debate with Bates, even calling out. Fire. Watch the brother. Watch the brother look around. Watch this brother when she says that. Advocating to incarcerate children. This one in a very heated debate with Bates. <laughs> like man, shut up, bitch. Around advocating to incarcerate children. This one in a very heated debate with Bates, even calling out Fox 45 when it comes to juvenile crime and how it's being reported. I feel like there's just some rhetoric coming from your office and Fox News pushing that children are responsible for crime and like further villainizing and criminalizing black children as a result. She's clean. Holy shit. Oh my God. I hate this woman, man. I hate her, man. These are the type of women have too much power. They got to fucking like argue with her and plead with her and go back and forth with her until she convinced them to fucking go easy on kids. That's carjacking old ladies and shit and playing a knockout game and fucking doing smashing grabs and follow home robberies and shit and shooting straight bullets all over the place. I'm, man, I dropped the link, man. It's, make sure you take the five dollar challenge, guys, man. Support the channel, man. Um, I'm gonna let y'all get. I'm gonna let y'all get a piece of this, man. I'm gonna let y'all get a piece of this white devil. This damn devil. <laughs> this woman is a devil. She's the devil. You white devil. Somebody need to somebody need to fucking take a pie. One of them whipped cream pies. From back in the remember back in the day they used to in the movies, they used to just smash a pie in a person's face. Somebody need to take a, a whipped cream pie and just smash it in her fucking face. <laughs> just go <laughs> just smash that shit in her face. She contributes nothing to society, I guarantee it. Right, and she thinks this is a contribution. Yeah, because she can't actually make a real contribution. Yeah, exactly, man. I wish somebody, man, you know, if I had some whipped cream, I would just run up on her and just smash that shit in her face. I would flatten her tires. I would be like, all right, I'd be like, okay, all right, um, great, great meeting. Then I step off, I go flatten her tires and lead it. <laughs> <laughs> And just go home and shit. 
Because well, yeah, I've been pretty upset with some things that I've been seeing coming from your office around advocating to incarcerate children. This one in a very heated debate with Bates, even calling out Fox 45 when it comes to juvenile crime and how it's being reported. I feel like there's just some rhetoric coming from your office and Fox News pushing that children are responsible for crime and like further villainizing and criminalizing black children as a result. She's claiming. Bates was behind changes in the juvenile crime laws that will lead to mass incarceration. And advocating for legislation to increase jail time for children. Bates responding. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to explain because I have never. Oh, and he gonna fucking cop a plea. That's why, I, that's, he gonna yeah, he cop a plea. He gonna fold. He gonna fold. That's all it took for him to fold. All he had to say was that. <laughs> Thanks for your um, opinion. You can move along now. <clears throat> we're going to continue doing what yeah, we're doing. Yeah, exactly. He folded like a lawn chair. You can already tell. He going to go back to the office and fucking, we got we to gotta, we, we, we gotta roll back all those changes. It, we made. He'll allow me the opportunity to explain because I have never advocated a lack of children. But was quickly cut off. So you're advocating for the legislation that passed. It that does a lack of children. It, it increases doesn't. all of the minimum sentencing no, for children. No, it never did that. No, ma'am, it did not. That's, that's why doesn't it? Why doesn't it, man? They're the ones doing all the damn crap. Lock those they fuckers up. I hate fucking bitches like this, man. This is yeah, why she they don't rob. She's a part of the fucking problem. Big time. Bro, I've, I've dated these type of chicks. Bro, the next day, no phone calls. I'm glad. Man, yo, she, she this woman is a devil. Amen. I hate the knockout game, man, but that if, bitch need one. That if, bitch need a knockout. If game. you ever want to play the knockout, the perfect game. application of the knockout game would, would be, would be yeah. the perfect justified use. <clears throat> What's that kid, um, Brendan Deeper, who beat up that teacher over the? She took his Nintendo Switch. Yeah, and he, he man, I wish you, I wish. You, <laughs> I was gonna introduce her to him, man. Like leave her with him in a in a, in a room for like tw twenty minutes. And she the minimum sentencing no, for it, children. No, it never did that. No, ma'am, it did not. That's that's it. We can read the legislation. Bates referring to the sense petition or child in need of services for any child ten to twelve who steals a car for the first time, which calls for zero jail time. Nowhere are we saying that we want to build. You steal a car for the first and listen. Fine, but God damn, that's basically just telling them, yo, you get one free stolen car. And we know that that's not just one. That's when they get caught. And then we also know that even without this, they get caught. They, they get arrested for stealing cars every fucking weekend. And they never do no jail time for that shit. So all this is this sins thing is is what does this do? We've never seen a fucking son teen on here that that was his first fucking crime when he when he makes the news. They're always fucking out here terrorizing the streets when they get caught. They always got six, seven, eight, nine, ten arrests under their belt. The hey, time, okay. which calls for zero jail. I, I guarantee you the same female that's out here in this uh black neighborhood that's trying to advocate to this dude, black the guy talking about the uh he's trying to lock up the black. I guarantee she live in some little tucked off nice suburban white area where she don't see nothing but one black kid every year. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Glider men have completely sheltered and protected and made this woman who really doesn't deserve this kind Facts. of treatment that they have insulated her from all of the like struggle and pain and, and violence that goes on in the world. And now she's been left, to, she's been left and protected um, and left out of the world. Now she wants to feel important. So now she's going around into putting her input where things she knows nothing about into Dang. situations where people are really suffering and, um, you know, dying and all, all kinds of problems.
Yeah, this this is this, look at all these brothers. These brothers are down here. They know what's going on. They they probably work with these kids. It looks like they got a little program or something. And listen, man, you out of line, bitch. Bitch, you out of line to come down there and even open your mouth. You should have came. Somebody if you was gonna come down there, yeah. If you was gonna come down there, you should have fucking been taking notes and shit and kept your mouth shut. Facts. You come down here talk. She came down here talking and shit and reading people and open taking people to task. Bitch, shut the fuck up. The minimum sentencing no, for it, children. No, it never did that. No, ma'am. It did not. That's that's it. We can read the legislation. Bates referring to the sense petition or child in need of services for any child 10 to 12 who steals a car for the first time, which calls for zero jail time. Nowhere are we saying that we want to build juvenile jails, we want to lock children up. What we're saying is DJS must give the services to the young people. But the back and forth was far from over. While I hear your answers, I really hope that in the future you can you advocate for solutions that will actually address the root cause of the problem and not just continue to lock up and demonize black and brown children. Bates. Wow. Holy shit. That's, that's now that's power. Like she really wants to control these guys she did and, though like she backed him down as a black man trust me i understand about black and brown children i have them. but what i will also tell you i have to be about accountability what i did not hear you mention once was the victim they're black and brown people. <laughs> thank you man thank you for not being a total cuck like a total like block what they call them a buck a black buck you ain't getting a buck broken and shit. So he oh, so he wait. sound like he did try to kind of line her up though. A little bit, but you know he's gonna go back to his office and say, I was out in the community this week, and people are not happy with what we're doing. Oh, so hey, like, man, fuck hey, that that is, you, hey, can you hear him say that accountability, man? That's like garlic to a vampire to the liberal females. Accountability, they run from that. Man, trust me, I understand about black and brown children. I have one. But what I will also tell you, I have to be about accountability. What I did not hear you mention once was the victim. They're black and brown people in the communities, and they're sick and tired of being preyed upon by children that look like them. Bates says it's not about. I would have loved to hear what she said after that, but she probably didn't say anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they don't care ahead, about it. <clears throat> huh? She didn't think that far ahead. She didn't connect yeah. that dot that if someone got murdered, that means that someone is actually dead now and or someone was attacked at you know, someone actually went through that. Yeah, she she doesn't they they none of them do. They they all like the all rhetoric. What about the numbers? I look at the numbers and we can sit down and tell you the number of robberies have exploded with 16 to 18 year olds. And the victims, the city's juvenile crime problem is leaving behind. I have to really think about those individuals. And taking a look at some more of those numbers, there have been 37 larcenies and seven burglaries in that neighborhood so far this year. And residents say it's a... Somebody need to whoop. Somebody need to just come up 